Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and today I'm going to be doing kind of a bonus tutorial since I took last week off but I'm going to show you the easiest method for cropping an image into a circle shape and this is using GIMP 2.10.2 so this is the latest version of GIMP. I've got another tutorial on this subject but it's pretty outdated now and it uses a method that's not quite as quick so I'm going to show you guys the updated better faster method. Before we get into that, of course, I want to direct you guys over to my website at DaviesMediaDesign.com. We've got plenty of video and text tutorials on here, so definitely check it out. And you can enroll in our GIMP photo editing course from beginner to pro photo retoucher. And I'll include a link to this as well as all of the relevant links from this tutorial in the description. So here's the image I'll be using for today's tutorial. This is obviously the FIFA World Cup 2018 official ball. So you can go ahead and download this for free. Just click the free download button here and then this allows you to choose what size download you want. So go ahead and click download and that will download your image. Once you download your image, go ahead and open up your downloads folder and find your image. Right click on it and go to open with and choose GIMP. And that will open up your image into GIMP. Now the first thing I'll do is change the name of this. I'll just change it to ball. And now I want to add a transparent background to this so that when I erase the background and uh, create a circle shape here, it'll be transparency behind it. So I'll right click on here and go to add alpha channel. And that essentially just turns your background into a transparent background instead of using the background color you have selected here. Next thing I'll do is grab my ellipse select tool and here you have your tool options. The first thing you see is the mode and just make sure this is set to replace the current selection. Next thing is anti-aliasing and this just ensures that the edges of your circle are crisp and clean versus jagged. Then you have the feather edges option and that just allows you to basically blur the edges of your circle and that helps with blending your picture into the background so it kind of allows your picture to fade into the background a little bit better. Then you have the expand from center option that just has to do with how you're drawing the circle. So when that option is checked, you'll see that when I click, the circle will be drawn from the center of my mouse click, as opposed to when I have that option unchecked, uh, wherever I click will be the top corner of the circle and it'll drag in the direction that I drag my mouse. So go to select none. So make sure that option's checked here. Fixed aspect ratio allows you to set an aspect ratio for when you're drawing your circle. So if I check this option and you'll see here, I typed in one colon one. That allows me to have a circle with a one to one aspect ratio, which is basically a perfect circle. So you'll see when I click and draw this, it creates a perfect circle. I can change the aspect ratio if I want. And that's just the ratio of the width to the height. So you'll see here the height is twice as large as the width of this. Uh, but I'm just going to change this back to one to one. And then you can also set the exact position of your circle and the exact size of your circle. And you can choose whether or not the circle is highlighted when you draw it. And then also whether or not there are guides in your circle when you draw it. So right now I have this set to center lines, which you can see that just marks the center of the circle. I'm actually going to turn the highlight off here. But I could change this to no guides or rule of thirds, which is a photography principle. Or rule of fifths, golden sections, diagonal lines, and so forth. So I'll just set this to center lines. It makes it easy for me to uh, align the center of the circle to my soccer ball here as best I can. And with these options checked here, I'm going to draw uh, what I think is the center of the soccer ball here, or football as some of you call it, depending on what part of the world you're in. So once I release, you'll get these things called the marching ants. And uh, that just shows you the selection area. Then I can click inside the selection area and move this around until this is fairly centered on my ball. So I'm not totally sure if this is perfectly centered, the uh, soccer ball and the ellipse select tool. So I'm going to grab my zoom tool, hold control and click to zoom out. Then I'll grab my alignment tool and click on this layer. You'll see that this is the active layer that we're aligning because it's got these squares in the corner here. And what I'm going to do is change the align relative to to selection. And that is allowing me to align my image layer with my selection that I just drew. And so I'll go ahead and click this align center of target option. And now what that has done is it's perfectly centered my photo with my selection area. Now that obviously only works if the object you're trying to align to the center of the selection area is in the actual center of the image. So keep that in mind. Now I'll hit control I. And that'll select outside of my selection area. And I'll hit my delete key. And that'll go ahead and delete everything outside of my selection area. And then I'll hit Control Shift A to select none. So that will deselect our selection area. 
Now you can see our image is cropped into a circle shape, but we've got all this excess area. So now you can just go to image, crop to content, and that'll crop your image down to the size of the circle. So now I want to go ahead and export this as a PNG file because that is the type of file that allows me to have no background or a transparent background. So go to file, export as, and I'll go ahead and choose my destination folder and then I'll come up here and just change this to World Cup 2018 ball cropped. And then down here by select file type by extension, I will scroll down until I get to PNG and go ahead and hit export. And I'll hit export again. So now here's my image exported as a PNG and you'll see that it is obviously a circle shape and there's no background here. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Let me know in the comments section who you're rooting for to win the 2018 World Cup. But if you like this tutorial, you can visit our website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can also join over 300 students and enroll in our GIMP photo editing course from beginner to pro photo retoucher. And I'll include a link to that as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.